los días van pasando y yo veo que se des... Today in my kitchen we're going to make my favorite carrot cake. Everyone loves this and it's really easy. Make sure you're gonna... We're gonna cook... Well these are already cooked, but a pound of carrots. I usually use baby carrots. Even though it is a carrot, they just make them small. But this is a baby carrot. I use a pound of baby carrots that I have cooked in a pot until they are tender. And we're going to put it in our food processor. And we're going to puree the carrots. Okay. Now that your carrots are pureed, and it's a pound of cooked I use baby carrots, but it doesn't matter. Carrots are carrots. Baby carrots aren't sweeter. They're just carrots. A cup of oil. We're gonna do eggs. It's always good to do one at a time. Four eggs, this one eight. A pound of carrots that were cooked until they're tender and drained. A cup of oil. Four eggs. Remember, we do our wet products first. each egg in. If you do not have a food processor, you can also do it in a blender. Now that we've incorporated the wet product, the carrots, the oil, which I use as a canola oil, and your four eggs. Now that that has been mixed, we will have here pre-measured three cups of unbleached flour, two cups of, two and a half cups of sugar, tablespoon of vanilla extract, we need to incorporate this. Completely forgot. A bit, we need a tablespoon of baking soda with our flour and sugar. A teaspoon of salt. I'm looking at my notes, sorry. making sure I got everything. Oh, we need some cinnamon and a tablespoon of cinnamon. So we have a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, three cups of unbleached flour. We're going to put our dry ingredients now in our mixer. Two and a half cups of sugar. Now before you incorporate the wet, we should blend this up. Preheat the oven at 350. Do two pans. And of course we'll put, put your parchment paper and oil your pans. I do two pans instead of three and I do one of cupcakes. So everyone can have a little bit of something. Now that we've blended our sugar and flour and cinnamon and salt and baking soda, we will incorporate the wet product into our cake batter. Right, ingredients mixing. Our carrot puree that we, it's a pound of carrots cooked tender. A pound of carrots cooked until tender, drained, put into a food processor or blender, puree, cup of oil, four eggs and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to mix it with our dry. You use your scraper to get it all. Batter will be a little bit thick, but smooth. Here we go. Clean up all the sides. You want you don't want to miss one thing. Your oven is preheating at 350. And here we have our carrot cake batter. Doesn't it look nice and orange? Well, we have it all mixed. We're going we scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything is well blended. And this batter is for three cake pans to divide up evenly. But before I divide it into my nine inch parchment paper oiled pan, 
two of these or three, but you remember parchment paper, well oiled pan, I will make 12 little cupcakes. I use an ice cream scooper to scoop them in there. Do one scoop each. Divide the batter up into either three pans or two pans and a 12 cupcake holder pan and cook it in 350 for 35 minutes or until your cake tester such as a knife or a toothpick comes out clean and the edges are slightly brown now some people do put nuts you could have if you want to you could have mixed some nuts and fruit into your carrot cake batter I tend not to due to many people don't like walnuts or have an allergy. Paired pans, remember two nine inch or three nine inch. If you have two nine inch pans, you gotta have at least a 12 cupcake holder pan or three nine inch pans. And you're gonna um, separate this evenly, start in the center. Now when you do the cupcakes, it's one scoop, one ice cream scooper for each cupcake holder, which is at least three tablespoons. A little bit of science. We smack down our pan, shake it up, some centrifugal force, back and forth, to make sure nice and even. Smack down, some centrifugal force. 35 minutes until the cake tester comes out. And when this is all nice and cooked and cooled down, we'll make a great cream cheese frosting. Recipes for three of these pans, but I did two pans, nine inches, and the cupcakes in a 12 pan cupcake holder. This only cooked for 15 minutes at 350. Once this was done, I pulled it out and left the cake still cooking. The cakes took 30 minutes at 350 make the buttercream frosting. This takes five and two-thirds confectioner sugar, a pound of cream cheese, and two and a half sticks of butter. This was taken out in the morning and eight hours later we're going to start using it because it has to be at room temperature. We have to sift our confectioner sugar. If you have a sifter you can put it through the sifter. If not you can use a nice fine grade colander and sift it through that. Sifted the confectioner sugar five and two-thirds and now we're going to cream the butter and the cream and the cream cheese. So let's cream this up. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract tablespoon of your lemon juice. So here we are creaming the cream cheese, the butter, the tablespoon of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract or any type of sweet liqueur you'd like to do. Now you don't want a big spoon of confectioner sugar because if you put all of it in it's going to go poof. You don't want that. And once it gets of the, some of the confectioner sugar incorporated. We keep we incorporate a little bit more but slowly so that we don't get a cloud full of dust in our face or all over the kitchen. Scrape down a little bit so you can put the rest of it in because there's not that much left. Now it's done. See it has nice stiff peaks. You want that because if you don't have that, it's going to be your cake is going to slide right off of each other. Now you can chill this a little bit to get it firm, so it's easier to put your cake together. You don't have to because it's nice. The peaks are great. This cream cheese frosting came out. We're going to try to make this a little bit more than just two two layer. I have a nice cake cutter. If you don't have a cake cutter, you can use floss. So we're going to do a couple of dollops. Don't put the dollop just in the center. Always, it's easier for spreading if you do it in two or three places. And this is approximately 
I would say this is a cup, maybe a half a cup of frosting. You slide the other one on top. And we'll repeat this process. And the next layer. With your hand, squish it down a little bit. Make a press. Can't even this out. There we go. Take good dog. And then you're going to work from the center and push it out. And then what's pushed out to the edge, you're going to put it around the sides. There we go. We have our cupcakes. 12. Isn't that gorgeous? Individual little. So we've decorated the cupcakes. Now we're finishing off the cake. Put a little bit of extra frosting on top to cover up uh, your cake. Again, decorating your cake. You can lay some walnuts on here. And as you're laying them down, just turn your Lazy Susan to help you decorate. Cover up all those spots. Well, we've got some crushed walnuts on the sides of your cake. And then we'll do some piping. there you have it. Carrot cake with walnut sides and carrot cake cupcakes. Enjoy! Apareciste una noche fría, un olor a tabaco sucio y a ginebra. El miedo ya me recorría mientras cruzaba los deditos tras la puerta. Tu carita de niño guapo se la ha ido.